We've all had that feeling that dogs can sense bad people. Somebody walks by and all of a sudden your dog growls or barks at them. But is that just dogs being judgmental or do they actually know something that we don't? One study set out to see if dogs act different around mean people. The researchers had a dog's owner try to open a container. A person who was in on the experiment either helped the dog's owner or refused to help them while the dog watched. There was also a neutral person in the room that just stood to the side. Then came the test. After the container interaction, the people who helped or didn't help the dog's owner and the people who stood off to the side all offered the dog a treat. Can you guess what happened? Dogs accepted food randomly from the neutral person or the helpful person, but they actually avoided the people that refused to help their owners. This is amazing. Although if somebody refused to help me and then offered my dog a treat, I'd be pretty surprised if he said no. But can dogs tell if somebody is mean just by looking at them? This next study set out to answer this question. They took pictures of people's faces with happy expressions or angry expressions. Then they randomly paired these pictures with the recordings of angry voices, happy voices, or neutral noise, and they showed them to dogs. They found that the dogs looked at the pictures more when the facial expressions and voices matched, meaning that they can detect human facial expression and their tone. Another study did a similar test, but they looked at what happened after the dog saw the faces. They found that dogs actually look away faster if somebody has a threatening expression than if someone has a positive expression. So if you notice your dog avoiding somebody or looking away, then that might be a warning sign. Now we know dogs can read body language and they know if somebody is mean to us, but that doesn't necessarily mean they know something that we don't. Humans can read these signals too, but humans definitely don't have this next ability. Scientists looked at whether dogs can detect people's emotion based on smell alone. First, they had participants breathe into a cup and put a little piece of gauze wiped with sweat into another cup. Next, they had them do a stressful math problem while the researchers criticized them. After the math problem, they gave sweat and breath samples again. So here's the question. Could the dogs tell a difference in people's breath and sweat when they were stressed? Yes, 94% of the time, they successfully identified which cups had the stress samples in them. But not only are dogs analyzing what other people are doing or what they're smelling like, but they're also looking at what you are doing. Researchers from France set out to see if a dog's owner's reaction to strangers influenced the dog's reaction to the strangers. To test this, they had strangers walk up to the dog and their owner. The owners were instructed to do one of three things, stay still, approach them, or walk away. But before we get to the results, here's a quick reminder to subscribe to Doggy Digs so you never miss any of our future doggy videos. Okay, so how did these dogs react? When the dog's owner backed away when a stranger approached them, the dog was not as friendly to the stranger. It took them longer to interact with them, and they spent less overall time interacting with them. But smells and body language aren't the only clues dogs use to judge people. A Canadian researcher did an experiment to see if dogs can tell if people are liars. There were two containers in a room. One had a treat in it, and one had nothing in it. A human who was part of the experiment pointed at either the container with the food, this person was a cooperator, or they pointed at the container without the food, this person was a deceiver. After a series of these experiments, here's what happened. The dogs approached the cooperators more than the deceivers. The study did note that, although dogs can tell who the liars are, they don't really understand intention, so they probably don't think the deceivers are being mean. They just prefer to spend more time with people who benefit them, which is another sign that if your dog is avoiding somebody, you might want to avoid them too. Now here's the craziest and most literal way that dogs sniff out bad people. Dogs can identify criminals. Police use dogs to find criminals two ways. The first way is that they use them in lineups. We've all seen lineups in movies where a witness or victim tries to identify the bad guy, but dogs can actually do the same thing. First, the dogs are given evidence from the crime scene, like clothing or shotgun shells, to learn what the suspect smells like. Then the decoy people and the suspect all hold a pipe for five minutes to get their scent on it, and then the dog smells the different pipes. Out of about 900 cases the Dutch police canine unit work each year, they're accurate about 40% of the time, which, if I'm being honest, sounds pretty low. Luckily for the other 60% of the cases, the results from the detection dog lineups are admissible in court only if other evidence links the suspect to the crime. But this isn't the only way police use dogs to sniff out criminals. 
In 2002, a pipe bomb exploded in a car in Washington, D.C. 17 days later, police took the fragments from the bomb and had a dog sniff them. Then, they took the dog to the entrance of the neighborhood where a potential suspect lived. Of course, the dog brought his handlers right to the suspect's front door. But the case wasn't solved that easily. The suspect's car was found in a parking garage with a suicide note. So he's gone, and that's the end of it, right? Not so fast. They took the dog to the suspect's car and had him sniff around. The dog then led them to the elevator, down the elevator, and all the way to the bus stop. Four months later, the guy turned himself in and admitted that he took a bus to escape DC. Obviously, dogs can be helpful if there is a crime, but they can even be helpful in determining if there was a crime in the first place. If a house burns down, it's not always obvious if it was an accident or if somebody burned it down on purpose. Typically, investigators take samples from the house, send them off to the lab, and wait a few months to get the results back to see what the cause of the fire was. But they can skip this whole process if they have what's called an arson dog with them. Arson dogs are trained to sniff out accelerants, like gasoline, in a burned down house to see if the fire was intentional. When a dog detects an accelerant, they let their handler know by doing what all good boys do. They sit. Now just how powerful are these arson dogs at detecting the scent of accelerants like gasoline? One deputy fire marshal said he could put a single drop of gasoline on a golf tee, hide the tee in a lawn, and his canine agent can find it. But since we know dogs can sniff out bad people, we've got to ask this question. Can dogs make mistakes in sniffing out bad people? We mentioned earlier that dogs can tell people's emotions by looking at their face, but where they look is important. One study found that dogs look at human eyes first and spend more time overall looking at their eyes than other features in their face. This is one way they can judge people's emotions and intentions, but if somebody is wearing sunglasses, then this messes everything up. From a dog's perspective, sunglasses can make somebody look like they have extremely dilated pupils, which is a sign of stress, and that they're staring right at the dog. This is a huge warning sign for them, and it might freak them out. Another thing dogs take into account is somebody's outline. According to Dr. Patricia McConnell, a dog behaviorist, dogs pay attention to outlines or silhouettes just as much as any other visual clue. So what does this mean? Well, people with hats, backpacks, or big coats can appear intimidating. Dr. McConnell doesn't think dogs fully understand that we can take these items off, so for dogs, it might appear that we're mostly human, but with some extra big and scary growths. When you think about it like that, yeah, that's understandably terrifying, and it makes sense as to why a dog would think a person with a hat is sketchy. But although people can take off a hat to appear less intimidating, here's something that nobody can change. A dog's past. If a dog has had a bad experience with, say, a man with a beard, they might think that all men with beards are bad. So just because a dog is alerting you that a man with a beard is bad doesn't necessarily mean they're right. And even if a dog hasn't had any bad experiences, some dogs prefer women over men or adults over children. Studies show that dogs like it when you talk to them in a high, sweet voice, which might put men at an automatic disadvantage over women because they have deep voices. Just because a dog thinks somebody is bad doesn't mean they're always correct. But if you want to see how to get a dog to love you more, check out these 12 scientific ways to get a dog to love you the most next.